Well, it won't be long before those bleachers are going to be so cold. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm such a rookie, or maybe I'm just lazy and bring a blanket or, or you know, a bleacher cushion, but, but yeah. They My parents, <laughs> I think, go all out now, as now we're in the phase of college football, yeah. too, and I think some of those bleachers are a little nicer, yeah, you know, yeah. for folks to come out and spectate. <laughs> and speaking of bleachers, I think people are going to be maybe headed out to sit in them maybe tomorrow. Maybe it's a little dry for you. We've got that breakdown in your forecast coming up, but today has been fantastic. We continue to count down to fall. We are six days away, and if you put two and two together, that means also fall related things start to follow. We've got 44 days until Halloween, 49 until daylight saving time comes to a close, and we fall back an hour, and then Thanksgiving. I know you don't want to think about it, but it's under 70 days away now. And speaking of getting out tomorrow, I uh, marked this as Monday's drive because I don't want to tell you what you're doing tomorrow. Maybe you're taking a long weekend and heading to a neighboring city. It's kind of why I put this together for you. Our temperatures are only going to hover in the mid to upper or mid to upper 60s for us, and that's actually unseasonably cool. We've got a few showers expected. Sun and clouds, I'd still keep the sunglasses handy, and the idea of some patchy visibility tomorrow morning can't be rolled out too as we work some more moisture off of the lake. But when it comes time for game time tomorrow night, Monday night football as the Browns take on the Steelers in Pittsburgh, temperatures are going to be in the low 60s. If you are traveling out that Way, make sure you grab maybe a sweatshirt or maybe you're doing something at the concession stands to keep you warmed up. I'm not telling you what you're doing, but it's just an idea for you. Temperature is close to 70 degrees right now. We'll take you back to this evening. It's still comfortable outside. You can open up the windows for now because our rain chances are going to start to increase too. It's not going to be for everyone. This is not going to be a soaking event for all of Northeast Ohio. But the chances become more evident as we approach midnight tonight. Temperatures will fall back into the lower 60s as we approach midnight as well. The upper 50s, mid 50s to start the day tomorrow. But why is it all going to happen and why is the change in place? Well, we had a little weak disturbance pass even early this morning. And what's through the mid-Atlantic brought us some showers to our southern communities for the, the first half of today. But we are waiting for this weak cold front to zoom on by. Believe me, it is moving at a snail's pace here. And as it it does so it eventually brings our rain chances back into perspective. But where is the wet weather right now? Well, it's all the way north of Lake Erie. It's starting to move over the lake, so you might be able to see if you're closer to the lake shore some of the action over the lake as we go through this evening. When does it arrive to you? Well, again, close to midnight in your national assignment on the hour forecast. Here are those chances from some wet weather tomorrow morning. Some patchy visibility for us. A spotty shower can't be ruled out through the second half of the day, but I think it's going to be few and far between. Come Tuesday, though. So I think we get some lingering lake effect. It's not going to be for everyone, but right now models pointing out our western communities could potentially get some additional wet weather. Union Home Mortgage extended forecast. We get the Browns back in town this upcoming weekend as they take on the Titans. But it's also the first day of fall. So in your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast, we actually feel a little bit more summer-like as we approach the end of the week. And temperatures are close to 80 degrees by then. We're